This is 2002 Chevy Suburban Z71 four wheel drive. Great condition. 130,000 miles. Perfect running condition. Really great condition all around. Clean. But it has been completely camperized. All right. There's a lot to list. I'm not going to go through it all. Just want to show you some basics about the auxiliary battery system, charge controller, 1000 watt pure sign inverter, which means you can run all of your electronics. With this bad boy, if you want to, you can hook up solar, as many solar panels as you want really. You only probably want about 100 or 200 watt solar. Uh, if that, you can do a lot less too. And that's only if you're stationary because it charges as the vehicle runs. But if you're stationary, you might want that. There's a uh, two burner Suburban sink. I'm going to include the pots and pan there because it it just fits perfectly in that nook. And I'll show you this all collapses or you can see in the picture. Uh, here is a sink that drains into an auxiliary holding tank, which can be drained, of course. Uh, comes with a propane tank with propane in it. Great floor, lots of space for uh, here for storage, 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 and of course a whole wall of storage here, which is awesome. You also have storage beneath the bed. This is a memory foam. It's actually two memory foam mattresses, uh, super thick and plush if you just want to sleep one up. But actually, I'll show you in a moment. The whole bed expands for two. So uh, if you need to sleep two up, which we did on a recent camping trip, both there and here slide out. One mattress folds down here, and then you have a full-on bed. And you can still access everything except for these, these storage units right here. They don't quite open with the mattresses there, but that's just kitchen supplies anyway, so when you're sleeping, you don't need it. Here's another angle of the storage, and two burner stove, pots and pans that just fit perfectly, sink with a foot pump, works really great. I'll try to show you how that works in a minute. You can just see a, a reverse. So there's a faux wood waterproof floor, which is killer, easy cleaning. Uh, and there's storage underneath the bed as well. Now you're supposed to fold the mattresses over that way to open one side or the other, but I will just show you right quick if I can, that how it opens. And there's tons of storage underneath there. That's like six feet of storage by two feet of storage by something. I don't know. Real great. Lots of, I mean, you'll never run out of storage in this thing, of course. So here's from the inside. It's a little bit dark in here right now, sorry. Um, I love that everything kind of stows away. But you do have a sink. Really nice. Replace new sink in here with a foot pump operation. This comes down. Really efficient. I'll try to show you a picture of it. And then, of course, one of the best parts is this great two-burner uh, propane, suburban propane stove. It's the best you can get for indoor use. These pots and pans fit perfectly, so I'm going to include them. Um, yeah, I will include them, just because they fit really nicely into this nook. It's really all you need for one or two people. We've actually had more communal meals where we've contributed to more people. I just want to show you the actual foot pump water system here so you can see how good it works. Uh, as you see, you can have as many of these bottles as you want. From this brand, the caps are interchangeable. So get your, um, fill up your multiple water bottles. And then when this one runs out, you simply put the cap from here onto another one, fill up this water bottle and use the non-modified cap on there. And here's how good the foot pump works. As you can see for doing your dishes, filling up water, whatever else works great. I'm just using my hand right now, that's how easy it is, but you would probably use your feet. Now I just want to show you the propane stove, how that works. Of course you travel with it off, so I'll turn it on. That brings propane to the stove.
add the fuel. Good to go. Same thing with this one, of course. But I'm not going to turn it on right now. It's nice, it's adjustable, it's good for indoors, it's safe. I'll turn it off. And of course, this whole thing closes and locks. Okay, everything folds down and then you can see here, you have full fold down, stow and go, counter space, everything's ready, foot pump stores, everything stows away. There's a little secret compartment there with lots of storage underneath, secret compartment there, lots of storage underneath. You'll find lots of features on here as you experience the vehicle. I'm not going to list them all right now, but others are, I don't know if you could see here, there's brand new WeatherTech, um, I guess they call them wind deflectors, but for the camper, and it does work well with windows are down for wind deflectors, but for a camper, it's really useful because, um, number one, it helps to block a lot of the sunlight when it's high in the sky and hot. Uh, trees usually block it below that line. Trees block the sun. If you're in the desert, maybe not. Maybe the bush as well. But it's also nice when it's raining, you can crack the windows pretty low and the rain doesn't get in. Uh, we were in Flagstaff and had a good snowstorm and rainstorm for many days, and that was a lifesaver when we were in here. Also, um, right here, this is the one thing, right there, one thing that's not included. There is a fridge that fits perfectly there, or you can use a cooler. I recommend getting the same fridge. We used it on a different project. It's a, a used one, so we thought you'd want to get a new one, and I'll, I'll account for that in the price of the vehicle. Um, so the fridge fits right there, plugs into this battery, and then you have cold food on demand, which is really, really nice to have. You don't have to do it if you don't want to, of course, but there is room for either a fridge or a cooler there, not included. Pretty much everything else is. You can have the fan, uh, carbon monoxide detector, again, lots of storage. So this vehicle I purchased from the original owner, something like 110,000 miles on it, babied, has a Z71 tow package, although it has never towed anything. It was uh, mostly just used to drive up to Tahoe and back for their ski trips, and then um, they had their kid in ASO soccer for a little while or something, but otherwise they had other vehicles that they used, so it's kept in really good condition. Top of the line for the year, still in amazing shape. I mean, everything's just perfect. Looks like it's it's been babied its whole life. Love it. Um, very little wear on the outside, too. All in all, probably one of the best you'll find out there, even without the camper conversion. With the conversion, it's it's a one-of-a-kind. You'll never find anything like it. Um, last but not least, on the roof, there is a solar shower and there is a, an extra-large cargo box. I bought that new about a year ago. Solar shower is pretty new, too. It allows you to wash from either side of the vehicle, um, including... I replaced the uh, the hose and the shower end for you, so that's brand new, just so you'd have an, a new one. Um, I will link to a video of the Inspiration so you can kind of see how it works and how it was built. Here, I'll pop out and show you what that looks like. There's the box. Here's the shower, as you can see on both sides. I don't know if you can see that. On both sides, there's a spigot. Here's where you fill the water. And then this nozzle is where you fill it with air to pressurize using either a standard hose. Uh, I'm sorry, not a standard hose. You can use either a standard hose, uh, standard um, bicycle pump, which is what we use to do it by hand, or you can plug in if you want to use a, uh, a tire air inflator, an electronic tire air inflator. You can save yourself a little time. Just make sure you don't exceed probably 30 psi. This is an image of the cargo box on top of the vehicle with some extras. Uh, right there in front is a little buddy heater. It's about 75 to 100 bucks new. We got it within the year, so it's relatively new. Works really great. Heats the entire vehicle. Um, is safe for indoor use and has a um, an automatic shutoff if it were to fall over or not enough oxygen. So that's a really good thing to have, of course, if you're going cold weather camping. Uh, uses refillable one pound bottles. Great and we're including that, fits within the wall unit, the wall storage on the side of the vehicle. Um, behind that is a an extra solar shower bladder, which can be hung from a tree or from the car or whatever. Um, only been used a couple times, that's in great condition. Behind that is a new hose and sprayer, which I'm including for the large solar shower unit that's on top of the vehicle right now. 
Uh, to the left is a fairly new tea kettle. And then um, beneath that is a curtain that hangs on a curtain rod between the cab and the camper areas in case that's where you wanted to, maybe for privacy or what have you, that's where you wanted to, um, to cover. And beneath that, you can't really see it, but there are reflectix materials covered in a black sheeting that fit, that's cut to fit into all of the different windows. It's a lot like your sun shield or your sun visor that you will put up on a hot day. Um, so that you pop into the different windows in case it's really hot or you're getting a lot of sun outside, or if it's really cold, it will both keep in the heat and keep out the heat depending on what you're using it for. Really good to have. So that's all up there too, I'm including. Um, and finally, of course, I'm including uh, two, a pot and a pan, both ceramic, um, both green, we're into all that kind of stuff, high quality, really nice um, pans in almost perfect condition. I mean, there's no scratches or anything like that. It's only been used a few times. So I'm including that and a couple odds and ends here and there that you will find around the vehicle. So lots of add-ons just, just to sweeten the deal. Uh, please shoot any other questions you might have to me. Otherwise, good luck bidding.